It's your boy Conserviz34, and today I'm going to give a review of Live Tracks 51, Dave Matthews Band, latest release, released May 8th, 2020. And uh, this show is from August 10th, 2007. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know I haven't been too positive or optimistic about the choice they made in the show that came out. And it was mostly because a lot of 2000 shows are already out. We have the two nights from the MGM in Las Vegas in March of 07. We have Radio City Music Hall, that's Dave and 10, April of 07. In May of 07, when the band goes to Europe, we have Lips in Portugal. And then September 8th of 07, we have Piedmont Park out there in Atlanta, GA. September 14th, 07, we have West Palm Beach Night 1, to me the best show. And I was always worried that this release would be in the shadow of not just every single release I named, but especially Live Tracks 42, where a lot of songs intersect. We have a shotgun in both of these sets. We have Sweet Up and Down in both of these sets, along with other songs that take both sets over. But when I decided to to get this in quarantine because I needed some DMB content, make the purchase and listen to this entire live tracks beginning to end, I didn't see a show that necessarily was about living in the shadow of live tracks 42. I listened to a show that regardless of what was released from this year is a heck of a show. From Seek Up, the end of Seek Up, one of the highlights of that is just Carter's drumming. You know, he always kills it in every single C-Cup, but in this one, I mean, I'm just feeling the vibe at the end of that. We have a number 27, just one of those songs that was uh, being played in 07, and it was in other releases that we have mentioned here. Uh, it's still a solid version. We have a Don't Drink the Water that just doesn't have a loud electric guitar in it. Which is awesome. That's my favorite version of Don't Drink the Water. The ones that don't have Tim Reynolds overplaying. And um, you see an idea of you again just in the spirit of what was going on in this uh, part of the, the DMB lifespan. Right? This was a song that was awesome every night. And the too much, it's labeled as too much on the set list. But it's really anyone sees the anyone seen the bridge the too much. It was well done, an awesome uh, mid set bridge and too much, mid set sister as well, and also Gray Street sounds phenomenal. And then we go to these two songs that were in the Live Tracks Forty Two uh, database or catalog that were just flawless on Live Tracks 42, but it doesn't matter. When I listened to Shotgun and Sweet Up and Down back to back, these were just solid versions of these songs. And as much as I tried to compare these two before I even listened to this, in the moment of listening to these songs, this standalone show, you will be pleasantly entertained by these renditions. In the best part of this live tracks. What makes it stand out compared to the other live tracks from this year with the full band? The encore is phenomenal. Some Devil, and then you have American Baby intro, and then you have Watchtower. Now, I'm not a fan of Watchtower closing shows, but this Watchtower is phenomenal. It is an awesome rendition of Watchtower. And the American Baby intro leads into this watchtower with awesome use of dynamics like this song always does. You get soft, you get build up, you get the, the climax, and then it goes, you know, it kind of slowly cools off. And before you can even hold your breath, they're right into watchtower. The encore is what makes this thing special, right? The whole show is great. But this encore, to start off with the Some Devil and then get onto that ride of ABI to Watchtower is just a great thing. Now, what I'll say is this. If you don't own Live Tracks 42, purchase that first. If you only have enough money for one of these releases from 07, Live Tracks 42 is the best release, in my opinion, 
for Dave Forbear. Obviously, Dave and Tim Radio City is a whole nother just great show that we can't compare to, to Forbear. But the Live Tracks 42 is the best show from 07 that's been released. If you don't have that, buy it. But if you own Live Tracks 42 and you have some extra money laying around or you're sick of hearing these 2018 and 2019 shows from the Sirius XM radio releases or the DMB drive-in or whatever it is, and you just want something from a great uh, era of the band, purchase this. Because it'll be worth the money if you have the money to spend. But again, Live Tracks 42, buy that first. Once you have that, once you've played that through and kind of got, you know, gotten its worth, that's when I say look to Live Tracks 51. A phenomenal release. A release when you look at it by itself is great. In a release that even though I had questions on why they picked it, another 07 show, I get through this entire show a couple times, listening front to back and cutting through to some of the highlights just so I could give you this review. And I say, you know what? This is a good show. I can't argue that. It's awesome. Now, I also want to dedicate this review to a dog that just passed away today, May 12, 2020. A good DMB buddy, Dave B. from Arizona, who not only rescued this dog that probably was going to be euthanized or killed if he didn't uh, rescue this dog and pick it up right away and take immediate action, but it's a dog that he spent the last five years with. Uh, she would have been five years old as of June 30th of 2020, uh, but passed uh, here today, May 12th. So my condolences are with Dave B. out of Arizona. Um, you know, we're thinking of you here in the DMB family and community. And uh, rest in peace to Stella. And um, I know that, that nothing can replace the memories and, and, and the dog and, and the, the bond that you had with Stella. But I just pray that you'll be able to, um, you know, remember the good times and be able to persevere through these difficult times um, of having to make a decision to, um, you know, let uh, Stella pass on after a courageous fight with cancer. So rest in peace to Stella. Thinking of you, Dave B. out of Arizona. And it's your boy, Conservist34. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.